word to my homies. So today's video is brought to you by my Sleepy Hollow candle that is holding up my phone and the letter C for CBV. Uh, Jacqueline tagged me, I guess, in her resurrection of the Crazy Four CBV um, tag. So, I like to do videos, so I'm posting a video, and I like not amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I had to print out the questions, because I had to look up some of my favorites and stuff, because <sighs> I just couldn't make up my mind. So, I made a list. So, number one is, how did I get into loving Candles by Victoria? Um, mentioned it in my, I've mentioned it several times, uh, previous videos and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm like having a hard time concentrating today. Um, I used to buy candles from the other place that starts with a Y, and... Then one day I was just cruising along on Facebook and saw side advertisements. Um, I apologize if you can't hear me because our screen door is very loud. Uh, one of the side advertisements that said Candles by Victoria and one of my friends had liked the page. And I thought, huh, I'll go, I'll go see what this is about because I saw that there was, at the time, over 500 fragrances. So, um, pardon me while I catch my fell. Um, so I went and looked at the page and I think I had ordered a couple things and when I got them in, I melted them and was like, holy, holy cow, why have I not known about this before now? Because I can actually smell these things. Um, so I really, that hooked me. And it's been history ever since. I think I've been a customer for, gosh, three, three, maybe four years now. Um, do, I, do you prefer tarts or candles overall? Uh, I like both. Um, I've been into melting tarts a lot lately just because of, um, I, I don't know, the smoke that comes off of them makes me cough. So I just kind of have been sticking to, to melting for a little while. But I do like candles and I still do burn them, um, because I do like the ambiance of a candle. I like the glow of it. I like the overall... Um, ambiance of it, I guess. My favorite, what is your favorite jar size? My favorite jar size is probably the Squatty Mason jar, the 16 ounce. I find that burns really well for me. Um, I get a nice even melt pool in it, and it melts melt pool really quickly. Uh, love those ones. Uh, what's your favorite CBV category, Logan? We don't need you in the background. You're supposed to be cleaning the living room. Uh, my favorite CBV category is bakery. No surprise, I love bakery. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite favorite bakery fragrance? Oh, hands down, hands hands down, is oatmeal butterscotch cookie. That it's a fairly new scent. Oh my gosh, I could eat that one. I could probably eat the wax, but then I would have to go to the hospital. And that wouldn't be fun. Um, oatmeal butterscotch cookie. I just love that one. It smells literally like an oatmeal butterscotch cookie. I think my mom used to make something similar to that when I was younger, and that's what that smell reminds me of. Uh, also, zucchini bread. I love zucchini bread mixed with anything. So those are my two. Uh, your favorite fruity fragrance. Uh, I have several. <laughs> one that absolutely, absolutely does not get enough love is lavender lime. You would think lavender and lime would really not go well together, but oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, it's like you get the herbiness of the lavender and the lime gives you this nice sour um, punch. It's just, oh, so good, I need to order some of that. Uh, blushing peaches, I love blushing peaches because to me it kind of smells like peach yogurt. It smells like creamy peaches. Like the way that peach yogurt tastes is what it smells like. If that even makes any sense. Uh, mango peach salsa. I love that one. I don't necessarily get like a salsa note from it. 
but I do get the mango and I do get the peach and I really, really, mm, that one smells good enough to eat too. Favorite house blend fragrance, blue sugar cotton candy. I have a big list on this one. Blue sugar cotton candy. Love that one. It's so good. It's so manly, but sweet at the same time. I liked it so much that I actually went out and bought my husband the blue sugar cotton candy, or rather blue sugar, uh, the cologne. Oh, love it. Mm -hmm. uh, candy Crush. I got that one in a bath bomb. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Cider Web and Hot Toddy. Those two, I like those ones for the simple fact of I'm a homebody. I like homey smells. I like to feel warm and welcome and that's what those ones are like to me. That smells like something you would just want your home to smell like when you're entertaining and welcoming people. Uh, Ringmaster, that one is so good. Star of Bethlehem, that's another one that does not get enough love. To me that one is like the epitome of Christmas time. It smells like my childhood Christmas. It's not typically a scent that I would go for because it is kind of earthy. It's got like frankincense and myrrh and I think orange and clove or something in it. And it's really good. It's just this really comforting, seriously, this really comforting, warm, enjoyable Christmas smell. Uh, under the big top, same with the Ringmaster. They're sugary, they're fruity, they're cotton candy. They're just really good. Under the Harvest Moon, <clears throat> that one and Why I Autumn, I really love those two. And those are another set that I wouldn't necessarily go for because they are pretty earthy. Um, but the Under the Harvest Moon and Why I Autumn, oh, they just remind me of fall. I love, I can conjure the picture of um, falling leaves and crispy air, full moons. You've got trick-or-treating, you've got mugs of steaming cider in your hands and it just makes you feel warmed and welcomed. I'm all about the warm and welcome. Um, and Whistle and Dixie is my other favorite. And this one, um, I know I've explained it before in another video, but I'm gonna have to do this in two parts, holy cow. Uh, Whistle and Dixie, I love that one because to me it smells like, like summertime when you have perfume on your skin and you smell your, you smell the perfume after it's been on for a little while and it kind of has that sun warmed skin and perfume note. It just, it smells like summertime or, and it also reminds me of like sitting on the porch and you have laundry that is drying on your line and you get just that gentle breeze and it's like perfumed warm summer air. I really, really love Whistling Dixie. If I could burn only one candle for the next year, which one would it be? Oatmeal butterscotch cookie. <clears throat> like, yeah. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Um, let's see. Number nine. Which candle or tart is on your list to buy next? I want to try one of the cuties. I haven't had a cutie. Um, pardon my yelling children or one of the new layered candles I want to try those they look really super cute uh, how long does it take you to finish a large candle well since I have so many candles it takes me quite a while because I need to get through them all <laughs> but if I were to just burn one um, burn one every day same one for days uh, it would probably be Maybe a week. Maybe a week to burn a big one. Uh, which scent do I have the most of? Star of Bethlehem. Uh, I had ordered some. I think it's Star of Bethlehem. I ordered one for me because I ran out and I ordered a candle and I ordered a scent shot for somebody else. And then I had a mix up and yeah. So it's. I have a lot of Star of Bethlehem. I'm gonna, I say a lot. I mean like four. <laughs> um, biggest candle regret biggest candle purchase regret uh, buying from another company besides CBB pretty much um, number 13 uh, I don't know if I can get through number 13 okay so pause here please come back for the next one if you want to hear me finish this <laughs> so see ya